Yo, what up everybody? Cardboard Moles is what you welcome. It's time to start 2018 Tops Gold Label Baseball. Eight box half case number eight for eBay. Uh, it should be up on the screen. That's not it. There it is. All right, let me grab the stuff. Be right back. Daylight savings time. Wait, that hat. Oh, that's in Australia, though. Alrighty, here's the stuff. How about them suns? Dude, they look they look good last night. Aiton looked pretty good. And Devin Booker is Devin Booker. No surprise there. That guy's a stud. My heat with a disappointing loss last night. But we uh Got some injuries already. Dion Waiters hasn't, you know, still hasn't played for us. He's still dealing with some injuries. James Johnson also dealing with an injury. That's two of our big players right there. But anyways, let's uh, get this popping here. Let's see what we got. I was impressed with Luka Doncic too. He had, I think, he had like ten points, eight rebounds, but he looked good out there. He he probably he probably needs to just stop uh, shooting that three ball for now. It's probably the man over there. So Aqua Clean Solutions says he lost sound. Anyone else has anyone else lost sound? Can anybody hear me? Yeah, I saw that, Aaron. Donkic shot three air balls. No bueno. You should probably stop shooting that ball. Because clearly he he he's, he's still got to do some more push-ups in the gym. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Let's see. This stuff is tough to hit, but I like the cards. They're uh, they're nice looking cards. I do like it. Javi Baez of the Cubs to fifty. Oh, dude, Luca's gonna be fine. Luca's gonna be just fine. Mind you, the kids, the kids, like 19, 20 years old. So he's still growing up, you know. And it's like I was saying yesterday, the the European game is more finesse. So once uh once once his body gets used to the physicality of the NBA, I think Luka Doncic is gonna be man lights out. Paul Blackburn of the A's. Rookie autograph there. My man Eisenhower repping North, Ca North Carolina. By the way, did you guys get hit with the hurricane? Yeah, I, I feel like the hurricane came and went. I know it, it did a lot of damage in the, uh, the coast over there of, of uh, Florida. Panama City, Mexico City, and, and etc. So how, how, how'd the hurricane do for you guys out there, Michael? 
Uh, hopefully it was just rain and nothing else. Because uh, as a South Floridian, I've been through my fair share of hurricanes and they are not fun. Ripken Jr. the Orioles to 150. By the way, you guys got uh, got some immaculate basketball in the store since we're talking basketball. Let's get that stuff filled. That stuff is super gorgeous. Acetates in that stuff. Logo man. All kinds of goodness. Rookies veteran content as well. And it's immaculate. High end basketball. Let's get that stuff filled. Now Max Fried of the Braves to 75. You know, I think Lonzo and Kuzma should both come off the bench. Probably not a popular opinion, but I think that's how it should be. I think they should start with uh, Rondo at the 1. Uh, Kentavious Caldwell Pope at the 2. Put Brandon Ingram at the 3 or the 4. And put LeBron at the 3 or the 4. And then at the 5, JaVale McGee. Oh, there's the metal card. And then coming off the bench, you got Lonzo. You got Kuzma. Instant offense right there. Uh, who else they got? They got Beasley. They got... Uh, what's that other kid's name? Uh, Lance Stevenson. It's going to be interesting how, that's how they play. I think they're going to play ultra fast, like, small ball. Low key, they should put LeBron at the five. David Ortiz, Red Sox 99. The ultimate lineup could be something like Rondo at the 1. Put uh, put Kuz at the 2. Put oh, or put Ingram put Ingram at the 3. LeBron at the 4 and then McGee at the 5. And that's gonna, that's going to be man those lineups are going to be interesting. Francisco Orioles rookie autograph. Now that's true. They got Ivaka Zubac out there. But I mean, come on. <laughs> let's, let's be honest here. Empire by Cause, how are you? Oh, Lonzo's hella talented. Uh, as a rapper, yeah, heck yeah. I think Alonzo might get traded, though. I don't know. Somebody's got to get traded. Like, seriously. And it's got to be one of those young guns. Either give up Lonzo or give up Kuzma. Maybe you might even have to give up both if you're trying to get somebody like Anthony Davis. It's going to be an interesting, interesting season. I wonder what the Heat are going to do. Because if we keep this the team we have now, man, it's gonna be rough. Maguire to 150 Cardinals. Josh Hart solid. I forgot about Josh Hart. He's a you know, solid backup point guard. I think he has potential to be you know a solid starter in the league. Jack Flaherty, Cardinals rookie autograph. I think the Lakers should go for like a point guard like Damian Lillard. That would, man, that would be a great uh, one-two punch right there. Damian Lillard and LeBron James, oof. That would be awesome.
And there's that sleeping monster out there in Golden State, DeMarcus Cousins. Whenever he comes back from his injury, which is probably going to be next year, like February or something, that's going to be an interesting dynamic for the Warriors. They might just win 80 games this year. Scott Kingry of the Phillies to 50. I think they should go for it. I think they should go for, for 80 wins. Or to try to break that record again of 73 wins that they previously had. Except, you know, this time around, win a championship. Rivera, the Yankees to 75. Dude, could you imagine that? Could you imagine if the Warriors or really any team was to win 80 games in a regular season? That would be ridiculous. True, Aaron, true. George Springer of the Astros to 75 autograph. And Damian Lillard, he's uh, he, he comes across as, as a very loyal guy. So I don't think he necessarily wants to leave uh, Portland either. They just, bam, the Blazers, not for nothing, they do a really not so good job of bringing in talent. You know, they, they kind of got lucky drafting McCullum. And Lillard, honestly, and, and they panned out because we know what happened with Brandon Roy and uh, Greg Oden. Brandon Roy, man, that, that one just sucked, man, because Brandon Roy, not for nothing, was lights out when he was healthy, man. Brandon Roy was a beast when he was healthy. Chris Sale, the Red Sox to 150. Davers, Red Sox to 75. I like Collins, though. I think Zach Collins will be decent. Especially in the NBA, you know, you got to give a player a couple years before you can start to see their potential come to light, you know? It's not like football or baseball where you can make, like, an immediate impact, you know, once you're drafted. And especially in basketball, I think, because, you know, the one and dones, they come into the league 19, 20 years old. Chris Stratton to 50 for the Giants. You know, so, so they usually take a couple years to uh, to develop. Unless you're like a generational talent like LeBron James or Kevin Garnett that you can come straight out of high school and just dominate. Don't see that every day. Isn't there baseball on tonight? I think so. I think the Red Sox won last night. And they're on the brink of, uh, of advancing. Ooh, the Heat play today. Heat play the Wizards at 8. Nice. Okay. Oh, did they? I didn't know that one, Aaron. Wow. The Blazers could have had Donovan Mitchell. Wow. Well, listen, let's be honest. I don't think anybody had... Donovan Mitchell high up on their draft boards. I don't think anybody, you know, saw him coming like 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 he did. Red Sox Astros at 8 game 5 Boston up 3-1 elimination game. But uh where are they, where are they playing? I think they're playing in Houston. The winner of that series is probably going to win the World Series. Mariano Rivera, the 99 Yankees. Mike Trout, Angels to 150. All right, what's the gold frame?
Yeah, it's it, and, and I'm glad you brought that up, Aaron. And the reason why is because not for nothing, in my humble opinion, Donovan Mitchell is the second coming of Dwayne Wade. George Springer Astros autograph there. Donovan Mitchell is the improved version of Dwayne Wade. They're both like 6'3", 6 6'4". 6 they both have a long a, a, a long wingspan. D-Wade has like a 6'10 wingspan. I want to say Donovan Mitchell's close to that. And they both play the same, the same style, man. Head down, bully ball, just straight to the basket. And the difference is Donovan Mitchell can actually shoot the three. Which is honestly what Dwayne Wade was missing his entire career. Was uh, a three-point shot. So I think Donovan Mitchell has the potential to be Dwayne Wade 2.0. Now hopefully he doesn't get injured like Dwayne. Because Dwayne, I want to say he missed like three or four years of his career on just injuries. A lot of rookies are going to make a, 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 a huge jump this, this year. Donovan Mitchell being one of them. And Jason Tatum, I think, is going to get into, like, all-star, maybe even MVP discussion. That kid is ridiculously good. Clemente of the Pirates of 50. All right. The last gold frame here. What's it going to be? Let's see. Chris, uh, Chris Stratton of the Giants, rookie autogram, to finish the break. All right, so recap. We have Clemente Pirates 50, Trout Angels 150, Rivera Yankees 99, Davis Red Sox 75, Sale Red Sox 150, Rivera Yankees 75, Kingery Phillies 50, McGuire Cardinals 150, Ortiz Red Sox 99, Ripken Jr. Orioles 150, Baez Cubs to 50. We have Chris Stratton Giants, George Springer Astros, Chris Stratton to 50 Giants, George Springer 75 Astros, did I just have deja vu? Flaherty Cardinals, Cisco Orioles, Fried of the Braves to 75, and Blackburn of the A's to 75. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you very much, eBay. We'll get it out to you.